as we travel and are honored to speak in, in a lot of places, in some places I'm concerned about what appears to be the mentality that's happening right now. It's at times almost as though celebration has left the room. Mm -hmm. wow. But the fact or the truth is that really celebration should be at its zenith right now. Yeah. All right. Thank you, God. But people are looking at things coming on the earth and allowing it to distract them. Yes, that's what it is. It's, it's allow, it's, they're allowing the current conditions to say something that is false. You cannot watch the news very long. In fact, you know, it's good to be aware. It's good to know what's going on. But be careful about the editorials. Because they are blind leaders of the blind. Yes. They don't know what's going on. In no. fact, they'll even tell you, here's what we don't know. Yes. <laughs> but if you want to get your news, you've got to get it from the kingdom. Because things are not what they appear to be. And the fact is, this is the church's finest hour. Yes. Yes. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes. Amen? Yes. So... We have to understand some things, but sometimes I feel that uh, so much of the preaching in some places is all about the problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Amen. It's true. Yeah. How are we going to position ourselves on this issue or that issue and so forth? And again, I believe in being involved. But we have to be that city set on a hill. Right. Come on, come on. And that city set on a hill isn't about current issues. It's about a light. Yes. Amen. Amen. This good news of the kingdom yes. shall be preached in all the world, not current issues. So the fact of the matter is it's the good news that's stirring things up. Yes. Yes. A strategist does not get his intel from the terrestrial. All right. A strategist gets his intel from the stratosphere. Meaning, we're not supposed to be looking at what's around us. Right. We're supposed to be looking at what's ahead of us yeah. and above us. Yes. Yeah. It's intel up tell. Mm -hmm. This is why it says, if you want to write this scripture down, in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6, He has raised us up together. Yes. Now he says half. You know what that means? It's already done. I'm not waiting until the sweet by and by. He hath. Everybody say hath. Yeah. He hath raised us up together. Woo! Amen. And made us sit together. I mean, you know, we better start learning how to get along. He made me to sit together with you in heavenly realms. Yes. Jesus said in John, in my Father's house yes. are many mansions. This is the King James. If it were not so, I would have told you. What are we thinking? He's going, I know he was a carpenter's son. Is he going and, and building my mansion? <laughs> is he is he preparing it, you know, uh, like a carpenter or like, you know, is he constructing it now? Mm -hmm. Well, as far as my Bible, I can tell everything's already done in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Say it. Yeah. So what is he preparing? Mm -hmm. You. Yes. Oh. Right. Yes. Wow. yes. Yes. When he says I go to prepare a place for you, he's saying I'm going to prepare you for the place. Mm -hmm. oh. In my father's house are many mansions. So let's look at that. The word house is translated, you might want to write this down, it's translated household. Yeah. And it's translated further, government. In my father's government are many mansions. 
Well, you mean there's houses in his house? Maybe. But when you look at it accurately, he's saying, in my father's house are many rooms. Mm How -hmm. I many of you know can believe there's rooms in a house? Mm -hmm. But it's not a kitchen and it's not a living room. It's your room. Mm -hmm. And it's not a room for you to sit up there and retire in heaven. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, I'm going to prepare that room for you, not for the sweet by and by, but so that you can have that room in you for your gift offering. Mm -hmm. oh, Thank awesome. you, Jesus. Oh, wow. Yes. Awesome. Oh, wow. It's time to get your war on. Yes. Yes. There's something deep in the belly of your room. Mm -hmm. There's something inside of you that's quickening vision and dreams again. And it's saying something that says I've got to release it yes. with my mouth. Yes. Not just an emotional yes. emotional reaction. It's a voice of triumph. Yes. It's a voice that says our God reigns.